Hello again, it's Karen, and I had my pre-op appointment today. Wanted to share a little bit about that with you, and also a little bit about my experience with a half-gallon jug of milk. Yeah, I wanted to share all about that. Uh, the pre-op appointment was great. Very informative, um... Uh, very long. It took the entire day, which I was aware of. Lots of shuffling around from this person to this person, just to try to get um, um, hit all the hit all the bases. And I feel much better prepared uh, to go in on Wednesday, next Wednesday, for the surgery. My my mind has been eased about many things. And I'm not really nervous right now. I'm just ready to, to get it done and let's move on with things because it's been an agonizing process as far as of, of all the waiting. And now since it's time, I'm just, let's just get this thing done and, and move on with things, which I'm sure uh, many of you can attest to. Anyway, um, I'm going to back up a little bit and tell you about... Uh, my experience with the half gallon jug of milk yesterday. I was making a protein shake and pulled out the the half gallon of skim milk to make the shake with and noticed as I was putting the cap back on the milk that the expiration date was July 16th which is my surgery date and it just made me think about how far I have come and even though I don't have far to go yet, just five more days before the surgery comes to pass, I have come so far when I think back to last September and how hard it was to wait and, and jump through all the hoops I had to jump through to get all the testing done and, and the hours and hours and hours that I spent researching, reading, watching, um, experiencing everything that was required to have the surgery. And here it is, five days away. And what I guess what the funny thing is what set that off was the milk. The milk expiring on the date of my surgery. Um, so I, I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, I think I'm going to remember that, uh, that little half gallon of milk. Um, like I said, the uh, pre-op appointment was good, um, and I'm ready. I'm ready to have my surgery. Everything is in order as far as um, the the pre-admission stuff. I just need to show up on Wednesday and get on that surgeon's table and have this thing done, and I'm ready. I am um, more at peace now that I have been to the pre-op appointment and I know more what to expect. So that was a great idea to um, to take the whole day and um, just kind of um, meet other people that are having the surgery the same week as I am met some great people today just um, it's really good to even though I don't have a chance to get to know people right there um, at that time you know you're not alone and, that, and that's the thing that I like the most about um, YouTube and watching these video blogs because it just reinforces in my mind, the fact that I'm not alone. I'm not alone in this journey. Um, yes, I am the one that has to get on the surgeon's table and and have the procedure done. And in that instance, I am alone because no one can do that but me. But the amount of support I have around me, um, the surgeon, who is very skilled, um, the team that accompanies the surgeon, the, um, there's just, it, 
I, I know it's their job to to uh, to do that, but it just amazes me how many people. Even though sometimes I feel like I'm doing, I ha had to come to the decision alone. It had to be my decision alone to have the surgery. But the number of people surrounding me in support has just made me think, you know, I'm not alone. I have, I have so many people that are rooting for me and are cheering me on. And I just, I can't wait to get to the other side and, and start my new life. I know that there are many challenges ahead. But when I look back, I had just as many challenges to get where I am here today. So, um, I'm, I'm just, I've just been in deep, kind of deep thought the past couple of days about just my journey so far. And, um, the journey that's ahead of me. I am, I'm ready for that challenge. I'm ready for the next step. And finding, finding you all here on YouTube has been wonderful because there are so many of you out there that are um, just opening up your lives to hundreds of people, if not thousands of people, that you'll never meet and you'll never know what kind of impact that you made on their lives. But by you making this video and just by chance, um, that person finding your video, I mean, it could it can make all the difference between someone making the decision to have surgery um, when maybe they weren't so sure before it's something they should do it's it's empowering too um, I feel much better about my decisions now um, just because of the support so I'm surrounded by people who are who love me and who want what's best for me and who have um, um, supported my decision to do what I felt was best for me. So I'm just feeling a little um, not, I guess, um, thoughtful. I don't know if that's a good word, but um, yeah, I'll just use that word. We'll use thoughtful. And I'm tired. It's it has been a long day. I don't seem to keep keep saying that I'm tired and obviously um, I should be tired at uh, uh, 12.45 and I should have been in bed a long time ago. Anyway, I just wanted to make this video and, and wish you all a wonderful weekend and I will uh, try to do another one of these sometime this weekend and um, hey, I'll be joining you all on the other side in five days. So we'll see you later. Goodbye.